but okay let's get it so today's video is about how to start a conversation with anyone let's uh actually before we we begin what are my credentials like why would you believe me do i have any kind of proof that i uh have achieved some kind of success in my social skills journey in my human relations whatever you want to call it well yes i went from being afraid to raise my hand in class and to be into even being afraid to talk to the lunch lady at school which is quite uh embarrassing to well this which uh, are some examples of photos that uh either i took or someone took about of me with in, in of me in social um situations me with girls me with the homies so here's me with a girl here's me with some homies here's me with another girl here's my body i don't know why that's there but actually that's kind of i mean that kind of makes sense to be there because um the if you improve your um if you naturally improve your uh, attractiveness to the max then that will help you um to make more relations with humans because of the halo effect um whatever it, so yeah i'll leave that there so that's actually a pretty old photo from like three months ago or something but whatever here's me with another homie um <laughs> putting him to work he's picking some cotton <laughs> just joking around man just joking around so uh another girl a different girl from these two took the photo and yeah that's these are some examples um but yeah i guess you can say i've had my fair share of of success not a lot but these are my some very important milestones to me they may not seem like nothing crazy but if you ever knew me from what from who i was a few years ago then this is quite crazy and yeah? honestly like this is quite nuts but yeah just wanted to say some more about this um actually this photo of the body um you should um i i guess i'm going to keep this here because it kind it's kind of it kind of makes sense to be here in the social skills video because the better you look the more people will like you so yeah take care of yourself naturally of course you may not be able to do a lot about your face but from the face down you can just work out and, and you'll be looking better so yeah anyways let's commence with the video starting a conversation with anyone is mostly confidence ask anyone that's good at social skills ask any social butterfly out there in the world they will all tell you the same confidence it's all about confidence it's all about having the balls to actually go out there and do it then once you actually approach the person you can say whatever of course that whatever is the other stuff which is what you actually say um but if you just work on your confidence just approach and say hi and then say bye that's enough that's very that's that's the confidence now even if you go up there and say some stupid stuff um who cares you already uh, uh uh got your social skills up which is very good uh so yeah most of uh talking to people mostly it's all about confidence and then it's all their stuff once you got the confidence once once you got the confidence down then you can actually like really get to the other stuff of course you need both you need to learn a little bit of the other stuff and then like actually like really master the confidence and then master the other one that's um that that should be the way i think because if you master other stuff first and you have no confidence then what does what good does it serve you it doesn't like it's not you you just learn a whole lot a whole lot of stuff for nothing if you're not going to use it so get your confidence up and the only advice in this video that i have for you is to watch this video it is very very important very important this video about this video that i made which you can easily find because i don't have many videos on the channel already yet um yet i don't have many videos on the channel yet you can 
just watch this video, which is you will find it easily. She's called "How to Easily Overcome Social Anxiety," which yeah, it's a very it's generally a very good video. Uh, and just like any other video that I make, including this one, I put the work in. I put a lot of work in. And yeah, watch the video. You can watch it right now, or you can watch this video first and then watch it. So yeah. So for the confidence, you want to watch this video. Now, onto the other stuff. One, do not be afraid of an awkward, an awkward silence. Do not be afraid of an awkward silence. Just don't be afraid of it, because it's it, if you know anything um, about life, if you if you've ever messed up in your life, then you know silence is often better than talking. Be because if you are silent, you cannot mess up your words. You just cannot do nothing wrong if you're silent. So. <laughs> You can't say anything wrong when you're silent. That's what I meant. So, yeah. Um, don't be afraid of an awkward silence. But a way to bypass this awkward silence is to look around you for things to talk about. Even the generic, it, oh, it's a good day today, isn't it? And by good day, I mean like it's like it's a good weather. It's like, uh, oh, it's not raining. Oh, thank, thank God it's not raining. You know what I'm saying? Um... I think there's a word for this, which is look around for things to talk about. I think there's a word for it, which I think is uh, verbalizing thoughts, verbalizing your thoughts, which is basically you think it, you say it, you verbalize it, you say it. So, yeah, of course, that's not always a great idea. Sometimes you have uh, very weird thoughts. Maybe you're thinking about teleporting bread with portals. Um I don't know why you would say that to a person, to a random person, or any person, but hey, it could be a fun conversation, talking about teleporting bread with portal portals, which is a quite interesting concept. But yeah, <laughs> um, so yeah, next, ask a bunch of questions as random as they may be, oh yeah, oh, okay, so I uh, pretty much already covered that, I don't know why I repeated it, but yeah. Just ask random questions, as random as they may be, because as random as they may be, this this like is more this is more advice of like um, for beginners. And as beginners, the the thing you actually wanna focus on is the confidence. So therefore, you you can just say some random stuff as long as you say it, which is the confidence part. That's the most important, and that's what will you will get the most social skill points. Out of so a good example is are you from around here are you new here for example let's picture this scenario you're um, going to new school or somebody's coming to your school or maybe college or university or whatever it may be your work perhaps your you know your job uh, place then you ask them even if they clearly have a suitcase with books or their resume their resume if they clearly even have that, or maybe they have the books in their hands, and you can see them, still, be stupid and say, oh, are you new here? Even though they are clearly new here. If they're a dickhead, they'll say, oh, can't you see I'm new here? You know, they'll be a dickhead. And th and therefore, that's, not, that's probably not the kind of person you should be talking to anyway. So, yeah, uh, that's probably not the best person to talk to. But if there are any kind of a decent person, they should just say, yeah, I'm new here. Even though they clearly have books in their hand, of course they're new here. You still ask the question and they're still going to be nice and tell you, yeah, I'm new here, something like that. Um, yeah, so uh, if you actually, so yeah, next. Next up, if you actually have a goal with the conversation, go straight to the point after, after the small talk. You don't want to be um, inter, um, Questioning people too much or talking too much, especially questioning. Would you like, honestly, tell me, bro, like, would you like to be chilling, minding your own business, and then randomly, boom, randomly, a stranger comes up to you and starts interrogating you, starts pretty much just interrogating you, telling, asking you 1,001 questions. Would you be okay with that, bro? I would, that would be kind of strange, honestly, like, that would be kind of strange. So, don't be that 
stranger yourself. Just uh, just go to the point. Of, but but don't skip the small talk. Just because if you just go to the point, you just tell them the first words you tell them is about the the goal you have to achieve. Like imagine you want to get to the to a coffee shop. If the first words are if you if, if you see the person and the first words that come out of your mouth to them is do you know where the coffee shop is? Hell no, don't do that. Just go up to them, tell them good morning or hello. Uh, my name is this. What's your name? Put out your hand and give them a, give them a damn handshake. Give them a damn handshake. A strong one if it's a, if it's a man. Uh, a rather weak one if it's a woman. You know, just uh, like this, like this. If it's if it's a man, like a very strong one. But if it's a, a woman, just do this. You know, just very gentle. But do it, or maybe a fist bump, just to establish the um, the physical connection, and you know, talk about like, oh, it's a good day today, isn't it? Or are you new here? And then once they say that, you just say, you just you just say this before you actually even say the thing you like the question you actually have the goal you have, which is to get to the coffee shop. You say this might sound kind of weird, and I'm kind of in a hurry, but can you please answer this for me? Where is the coffee shop? You see what I did there? Can you please answer this for me? I'm sorry, I'm in a rush. Uh, would you mind if uh, to tell me where the coffee shop is, please? Um, and yeah, then they'll not be like weird adults. They, yeah, just do that. Just yap and yap and yap. Just keep yapping until you get the information, I guess. But of course, for the, for your time's sake, don't yap too much. But yeah, you get what I mean, right? So, next up, don't force yourself to be there more than you need to. You don't have to stay there. When you feel you talked enough and are happy with the progress and having the balls to initiate, you know, the progress you've made, which is already great. Like, if you literally just go up to a person and you, you have the balls to even walk up to them and say hello, that's enough. You can get out. You can get out of there without even receiving a response. You already leveled up your social skills. Skills, you know, your social, your so, your social, your social skills. You already leveled it up by simply going up to a person and saying words. So yeah. Um. Make an excuse when you feel you. That's enough talking. When you feel that. When you feel that's enough talking, you've talked enough. You've talked enough. Maybe you have some other matters, matters to attend to. You have some other stuff to do, or whatever the reason may be. Maybe you're just getting a little uncomfortable, or started tripping over your words, and you know you're getting a little anxious or nervous to be talking around to the people because, of course, you're new to this. You're new to social skills and whatever. You know, you're a beginner. Make an excuse or use a real one and get out strategically. Simple. So yeah. Next up and last thing I want to tell you for this other stuff is to watch this magnificent video of mine. This video is absolutely a gem. It is gold. This video and the other one, especially the other one. The other one is really important, but this one is only important because of what it talks about, which is the book. The book that changed my life, not just my social life, like I put in the title, my life. Because of course, if it changes your social life, it changes your life. But the things I learned in the book, man, it's crazy. Go watch the video to see what book it is. I don't yap too much. I, I straight up just tell you the book and then I yap. Watch the videos. The, the two videos that I recommended, you can easily find them, easily find them in the channel because there's barely like, there's less than like 10 videos, I think, in this channel. Go up, go up there, find the videos and view them, watch them. So yeah, that's pretty much it for, for today. I hope this video helped you. If this video helped you, um, with, well, th this is pretty much my mission with this channel is to help uh, young men become more social 
which is a very big problem that I used to experience myself, which is not being social. If I helped you with that in any way, or maybe something else, perhaps you came here for something else and you found your answer, maybe whatever it may be, I hope I helped you. And if I did, of course you can do the the obvious stuff like, you know, uh, like and subscribe guys, and uh, comment and all that stupid stuff. If you actually want to help me, bro, just go to the description and there's a link if you want to donate donate some cents to me. Some cents or some big dollars or whatever you want to do. Why? Why would you do donate? Well, because, my boy, not only am, are you helping with the mission, you are, honestly, bro, you are helping me achieve one of the goals that I want, which is a, a new phone. Because I have a very terrible phone. Why? Because the good phone that I gave, I gave it for charity. Simple as that. I gave the phone for charity and I need a new one. Um, that's why I'm filming with the PC, because my, my freaking phone is a potato. So yeah, if you want to help me out, go ahead. Because you can just contribute with a few cents if you want to. Like very little, maybe a cent even. I think, I think you can donate a cent, I don't know. Um, not sure. Yeah, just uh, help me out if you want to. And yeah, bros, you don't have to, honestly. But that would be great help because, my boy, I literally just gave my damn phone for charity. And after that, you know, I thought my, my phone, you know, I would get a new phone, but it, it got ruined. I don't know what happened to the phone. I lost it. I lost the better phone. And now I'm back to having a very bad phone. And yeah, I, I need to buy a new phone. So... Yeah.